Afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our, our weekly update on, on the 8th of December. Um, it's been a, a, another great week in school. Uh, I'm getting very self-conscious now because I'm being made aware about my tie. So I'm going to have to make sure that I wear a different tie for every weekly update. So I'm going to have to keep a spreadsheet of some kind to make sure that I'm not wearing the same tie. So, so keep an eye on that. I might try and trick you when we can wear the same tie. So I've had a great day today. I, I really want to thank Edward and Dylan from, from Nedden. Um, I was on my way to break duty and I, I smelt some amazing cooking going on down in the catering room with Mr. Dyer. I popped my head in and Edward and Dylan gave me one of their Christmas biscuits and they were absolutely beautiful. I loved them, made me a very happy man going on my break duty um, and they were absolutely delicious. So, so families have got some really nice treats coming home for them tonight um, from those catering lessons today. Wednesday, I mentioned it last week, uh, the drama department took a trip down to, to London to watch The Lion King. Uh, we had some very tired students and staff on Thursday, certainly, but I think everybody admitted that they really enjoyed it. It was a wonderful performance, um, and the staff said the students were absolute models for the school. So that was really great to hear, um, and I've had it recommended to me to take my daughter to see it, so that, that's maybe something I can look at in the future. Year 11 have thankfully finished their mocks. You know, it's been a tough, pressurised two weeks with some people doing two exams on one day. Hopefully to help them prepare better for the summer and give them that experience ready for the summer. But also so now teachers can mark those mocks and prepare lessons and learning around the areas identified from those, from those um, exam answers. Uh, just to say they've got, Year 11 have got a finance exam on Tuesday, so that final push over the weekend, give them a few questions, test them, just to get them prepared for that finance exam uh, on Tuesday. Huge controversy in school this week. Um, the big grudge match came up again with, this time, Year 13 coming up against the staff in the, in the football match at lunchtime. You'll remember that Mr Brown wasn't very happy after losing the first game to Year 12. Um... The final result, I'm pleased to tell you, was 1-0 to the staff. However, on speaking to Year 13, they're questioning some refereeing decisions by Mr Clark. Apparently two goals disallowed. I didn't see them, so I can't make a comment on that. But apparently they were very dubious. What I do have to say is I, I mentioned Mr Blake in my first video about the football. I'm going to mention him again. Apparently an outstanding performance in goals like a solid wall, but has now got his hand in a brace injured after after the cause, so or injured for the cause. So thanks to Mr Blake for another sterling performance in goals. Um, Lille visit has gone off. It went, went off yesterday morning, quite an early start for, for the students off to Lille. Um, I've had a little nose on the Instagram page. That's Caldecott Languages if you, if you want to follow it. Seems they've had a nice calm ferry crossing and a bit of Xmas shopping um, in Le Marche de Nol à Lille. I hope I've pronounced that right. Um, I'm also after, I do have to note again, there's my second mention of Mr Clark in this video. Everybody, students and staff, seem to be wrapped up warm with coats, bobble hats, etc. Mr Clark wearing a pair of shorts. PE teachers, they're just, just a different breed. Um, it was lovely to see our families on Tuesday at the sixth form uh, options evening. I was doing a presentation for business studies. Um, just to note, really, in terms of that, that uh, Mrs. Baker is available for any queries or questions, and that's from students and parents. And those subject choices, which will help us form our option columns for the summer, so very important, need to be submitted by next Wednesday, the 13th. Uh, I've had the pleasure today of my Year 12 business class, which I share with Mrs Baker, of sitting in with Kevin Mansell Abdel from uh, That Media Group, who's given him an inspiring talk on entrepreneurship and setting up your own business. And he, you know, he made me think how much I could make just by opening a car wash. So there's some things to consider over the weekend, definitely. So I hope that's inspired some of our business students in Year 13. Year th uh, sorry, the Nurcombe Centre had their showcase yesterday. It was lovely. I caught the end of it. Lovely to see a lot of families. Um, really successful event, um, few performances, but teaching personnel presented Caden, James, Molly, Evie, Kaylin and Joe awards for outstanding work this term. So well done to all them. And a big thank you to Mrs Evans, one of our parents. She's run a, a wreath making workshop with staff and friends of the school, which has managed to raise over £400 for the Nurcombe Centre. So that's absolutely vital funds which will help support our students move forward so a big thank you to mrs evans for that just a few highlights of next week as we, as we count down to christmas 
I'm really looking forward to Monday. We've got a de Detective Inspector Hill joining us on Monday, who's coming in to talk to our Year 13 Criminology and Sociology classes. Obviously, I, I keep plugging it. We've got our Christmas concert next week. There's still tickets available. And our raffle as well, obviously raising money for Caldicott Food Bank. Our art trip to London will go on the 14th. And we've got our finance exams, as I mentioned earlier, Year 10 on Monday and Year 11 on Tuesday. Thanks for all your support. Um, and thanks for all you do with your, your sons and daughters and, and supporting them in school. Uh, and I'll be back next week as we, we really approach Christmas. Thanks very much. Bye bye.